Welcome. In front of me, I have Realme GT, and today I will show you a couple camera tricks that you can use when you have the smartphone. So, let's open the phone, let's open the camera, and at first I'm going to talk about the features that you can find in the settings. So, to enter the settings, you have to tap on the right upper corner. And as you can see, when we are here, we, we can enable watermarks on our photos. So, when you tap right here and tap on the first switch hand. There's the phone model. It will be added to the photos and videos. And the same when you tap on the date and the time. When you click on it, you can cast on that watermark. So for example, I'm going to type here that it was taken, or maybe I, I will just type hard reset. Hardreset.info, click on the marker to confirm. And as you can see here, you can also apply that we, I mean, we can choose that we want to apply it on the photos or videos. I'm going to remove for the videos and only get it on the photos. Uh, the same we can make for the date and the time. So I'll take a look right now when I'm going to take photo, just like that. Let's agree. And as you can see, when you take a look right here, there we got the watermark. It's shot by hard reset info. And below we got also date and the time. So yeah, that's the first thing. Very nice and useful feature. We can also change volume button function. It's currently set up on the shutter, but we can change to the zoom. And take a look right now when I go back. And I'm going to zoom, for example, on that plant. I press volume up button and our smartphone will zoom in very smoothly and very close. And as you can see, it goes very, very close. 20 times and we can also zoom out by using the volume down button so take a look it goes very smooth and it's definitely much easier than pinching screen or tapping on the screen when we go back we can also enable or disable shutter sound so take a look oh i mean i probably just turn off the volume of the media well let's see let's check right now Okay, it doesn't make any sounds. Um, maybe it's some kind of the bug. Let's turn it off. Yeah, there's no any sound when you take photos, so probably it's some kind of the bug. So maybe they fix in the next update or something like that. And uh, the below we can find the location. So when you tap on the switcher, click set and enable location to the camera. You have to grant permission. Right now, when you take photo and go for the details you will get the exact location where the photo was taken so there it is when we scroll down we can also find the composition so we can enable grid lines on the photos and the videos we can go for the normal grid on the both and we can also enable the camera leveler so take a look right now how it looks there it is, as you can see, the lines appear on the screen and for example, we can make a better composition on your photos, so just like that. And let's go back to the settings. Uh, what we can find here as uh, in the shutting methods, we can uh, tap to capture, so we can tap on the frame to take a photo. And we can also enable show palm. So uh, when you are in the front camera and enable this feature, as you can see, I'm going to switch. And right now when I show palm of my hand, the photo will be taken. And there it is. Okay, let's go back to the rear camera and let's go back to the settings. Uh, what we can find here also, uh, I was talking about the shooting methods, but I miss honestly the advanced settings. And in advanced settings, uh, we can change the photo video format, as you can see. And we can also change the flip selfie. So uh, right now when I'm going to take a selfie, and go for the preview, as you can see, it looks uh, the same like on the preview, right? But when I'm going to turn it off, oh, I just missed click. Uh, when I'm going to turn it off, Flip selfie, and right now when I take a photo, as you can see right now, the, the selfie will be looks different. So there it is. 
I think this one looks better. So I'm going to delete this one. It's not nice. Okay. And uh, I think that's all. Oh, we can, we can also enable the portrait deceleration correction in the group photos. So that, that's a useful feature that automatically fix some kind of the dissertation on the photos. So uh, that's all from the best features that you can find in the settings. Uh, right now we are going to focus on the modes that we got here. So uh, in the photo mode, mm, we can find the Google Lens. When you tap on the left icon right here and click to open the camera and grant permission. For example, you want to find objects around you. For example, I will try to find this logo from our hard reset info company so when you go for the search and then tap on this shutter we'll find the similar similar images online uh, we can also go for the shopping so for example if you want to get this logitech mouse you have to put your camera on it tap shutter and as you can see, there we get the product. So there's Logitech B100 Ergoing mouse. Very useful feature. I hope that all of you guys know that because it's very useful. So let's go back. And when you are in the photo modes, we can also quickly add filters to the photos when we tap right here. As you can see, we got original, fresh, clear, warm, mist, country, travel, food, cool, forest. I mean, there's a lot of them, so I'm not going to talk about everything, but uh, for example, let's take a photo with this one. Oh yeah, like that, bank, flamingo, and then with the normal. So as you can see, we can quickly apply filters. We don't even have to download any external application, so that's very nice. We can make it straight from our camera application. We can also activate AI for the sand and main sand, what I said. Okay, I just misspell. Never mind, guys. Don't mind about that. Uh, we can also add timer. Uh, so, for example, we can add timer for the three seconds. When we click the shutter button, after three seconds, the photo will be taken. Let's turn off AI. Let's go for the normal filters. Let's also turn off the timer. Uh, we can also quickly change aspect ratio in our camera. But I recommend you to always shoot 4x3 because we got the best quality on the photos. Now we got HDR, we can go for the on, off or auto. I recommend you to go for the auto. Uh, when we click on the photo like that, we can catch focus. And when we tap right here and move that icon, we can change brightness level on our photos, as you can see. So we can, we can make it like that. We can also make it more bright and and here in the right bottom corner, we can also uh, we get you know the beauty mode. Uh, in the video mode, we can make basically the same things, uh, but when you click here, we can quickly enable the ultra steady mode. But as you can see, it switch from normal lens to the telephoto lens. We got the night mode, so everybody know that mode. I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, and the portrait, the same. And here we got the 64 megapixel mode. So I'm going to show you uh, what is the difference between this one and the normal mode. I'm going to take photo of this plant, just like that in the mode. And then with the normal, the same photo, but take a look on the difference. So we can focus, for example, on this, this object here and take a look on the 64 megapixel right now. As you can see, we got more details and we can zoom in definitely closer. So when you want to get more details on your photo, we just use 64 megapixel mode. That's pretty simple, right? When you go for the more modes, uh, we can find here also the text scanner. Uh, for example, let's pick this window cleaner and let's try to scan the text from it. Oh, I mean, I just move phone from the camera so let's pick it right that like that okay right now it let me show you like that um okay as you can see there's the frame the yellow frame around uh, around the text when you tap on the shutter when this yellow 
lines are on the screen, it will just cut out the other things from the screen and only focus on the text that you have here. Maybe it's not the best example, but you know right now what I mean and how this mode works. And we can also find here the normal slow mode, uh, slow motion. You can change the quality of the slow motion in this place. Uh, probably the same will be in the time lapse. Yeah, so in the time lapse, we can go for the 10x, 60, 120, 480, and even 960. So that's a lot. Uh, we can find the panorama mode. So when you want to catch more objects in the photo, uh, you can just put your phone like that. Steady, click on the shutter and then move it, for example, for the left side. Okay, let's take the photo. And there it is, there's the panorama mode. Okay, of course, you have to make it steady because I just shake my hand and there is some kind of desertation on the photos. Uh, we can also find here the dual video mode so we can uh, shoot the video from the front and the rear camera at the same time and we can switch also lenses. So yeah, that's all. Uh, here when you tap, uh, we can make the round so i will be in the circle it's the same it is the same almost uh, and here we got the split so basically that's all uh interesting options i mean the all interesting options that you can find in the smartphone you can also use the pro mode uh but i'm not going to talk about that because there's a lot of things uh, I, I mean it will take uh, another 10 minutes or even more so if you wonder how to use the pro mode uh, you can check our other video on our youtube channel because we got the exact video how to use promote in the Realme GT. So, if you find this video helpful, please remember to leave a like, uh, leave comments, and for sure, subscribe to our channel. So, see ya!